Hello there guys, it's Connor from Carp Fishing Adventures UK. Um, getting a bit bored in lockdown so I thought I would do a quick tutorial on something that I've just bought. Um, so this is the first time I've ever fitted these. Um, hopefully it'll be the last time I'm guessing. They're meant to last, I think, a lifetime, I don't know. Uh, but of course until I would to get new reels. So we've obviously got the uh, Shimano Ultegra uh, 5 500 XTDs, whatever they, I don't know how to say it, it's 5, 5,500 XTDs. Um, Really nice reels. The only problem, well, the only sort of problem that I've had with them is how long it takes you to go from, uh, if you're fishing quite sort of light in terms of the drag set, um, to then being pretty tight. It does take a couple of turns. So um, you can obviously get the carbon washers, which are quite a bit of money, I think. I haven't really looked into it, but these um, are apparently just as good. Uh, the manufacturer, I bought them off of eBay, 15 quid for Three, uh, for three lots, so enough for three wheels, which is nine washers. Um, reels, not wheels. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, 15 quid. It's uh, they're, they're rated up to 250 degrees Celsius or something, which means that they are more than capable of handling the amount of heat that is going to be produced uh, for your just normal day-to-day -day carp fishing. Um, well, carp fishing, pike fishing, catfish fishing, anything like that. Um, so I thought what would also do is just give a little bit of life back into these as well so and degrease a couple of the parts so these aren't allowed to be applied with grease they have to be completely dry so when I take it apart I don't have any real degreaser if that's a thing or anything like that so I've literally just got some engine degreaser which I'm going to use um, so yeah let's uh, let's get into it and see uh, see what we can do here we go then guys so I've uh, put you in a position where you can see the reel a bit better just so that it's uh, see easier for you guys to see so um, it does come with a little bit of instructions just here uh, so basically in the pack what you get is you get this and this uh, it seems pretty self-explanatory anyway but it's saying um, do one spool at a time just so that you can refer to this one remove the drag knob uh, there's a spring clip inside uh, slash retaining plate take that out there's a stack of washers take those out there's three metal three felt and basically what you're doing is well from what I can tell you just swap out the felt ones for these PTFE ones. Um, so yeah, so it goes one metal, one PTFE, one metal, one PTFE, one metal, one PTFE. Um, so yeah, let's get into it and see what it's like. Jesus. So let's just set this down there. I don't know how to get these out, if I'm completely honest. It might just be as easy as that. Yeah, oh, okay. So, that little thing there um, just sits in there. It just, it's like a spring-loaded type thing, so it just comes straight out. So I'm going to put it on this plate here. That's what I'm going to be putting the degrease on. And, uh, oh, wow, there is a, a lot of grease in there, to be honest. Rather disgusting. I'm just no. I'm uh they are they feel very cheap to be honest, the the PTF oh well, not the PTF, sorry, the felt ones are already in there. Um but yeah, let's just leave that for a second. So I'm just gonna tear off a little bit of this. Just so I can clean up inside of here as there is a little bit of grease but not a lot. And I will be giving these reels a big deep clean anyway to get this degrease off. It's just getting all of the grease out first of all, because that is what it's saying to do. So it says to remove all the grease. Which 
is proven to be a little bit more difficult. There's like a, I don't know if you guys can see that in there. Let's look on my phone. Yeah, the light's not too great. If I just tilt it back a bit. Oh, there we go, yeah. So, do, 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 that thing just here where my finger is, and I'll. I'll let me twist it that way. And boom. So, the little notch that's just there at the top. There's two, there's one either side, and they seem to hold a bit of grease in there. So, just getting rid of some of that. Uh, clear all the. Yeah, clean all the grease from the spools. So, getting it all out. that all done um, and just go metal washer fabric washer metal washer with funny clips on it and metal washer I think the, I think these two I think are the same they look and feel exactly the same. So I'll we'll bring those down a bit. There we go. I think they're exactly the same. They both got the same holes in the middle. They've got nothing extra on them. And then this one, which is the middle one, has two little notches in it. Oh, I keep forgetting that it's pointing down, isn't it? So just like that. So move the fabric ones out of the way. these up a little bit with a bit of degrease I mean I suppose you could just use like brake cleaner or something but I, don't, I didn't have any of that to hand From what I could see when I took it apart, it actually went. So let's get three of these out. One, two, three. So from what I could see, it actually went one of these in there. Metal one in there. One of these in there. This little sort of metal one with the little thing sticking out of it I'm actually pretty impressed with how the degrease is working to be honest it's uh, there's nothing left on them whatsoever so that should be perfect but I don't think there's a certain way it goes I don't think Does it sit flat? Yeah, it sits flat both ways so just pop that in there as well And then last one. And then just this one as well. Clean up the little pin again. Da -da. Apparently that's it, but it, well, it feels a bit loose. Can you hear that? Hmm. Maybe I've done something wrong. Oh, well, let's put it together and see what it does. So 
I don't need to degrease this bit anyway, so that's all fine. Well, I mean, it works, look. That there is really light drag. That there is pretty much locked up. So, I mean, what's that? So, we're in that position at the moment. If I do half a turn, so that, that's then practically a completely loose drag. That is, whereas if we compare that to this one down here, so that there is a completely solid drag, as we can see. And if I do half a turn, so that's half a turn. That's still quite tight. Another half a turn, still quite tight. Another half a turn. Well, getting looser, of course. But then to get it to the same looseness as that. There we go. Um, so yeah, I mean, that seems to work pretty good. I, anything, it doesn't, doesn't feel like it's, doesn't feel like it tightens down as much as maybe the original ones did. But we'll see if that's something that as they sort of wear in a bit, fixes itself because I don't know or maybe maybe just maybe you've got about these as well I don't know take out the stack of washers from the spool three metal three felt no the order of the metal washers clean all grease off the spool and the metal washers place the felt washers aside yeah well there we go um, that's all done so now the reels are so let's say that's locked up, which pretty much they are locked up. If we do literally a quarter of a turn, really, really nice. Um, I'm very happy with them. What I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to give these a bit of a deep clean. So uh, because the degrease got a bit on the, um, oh, bit of degrease coming out of somewhere in the reel. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, because uh, the degrease got on the line, it's probably not something that should be going in water. So, um, uh, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't say that it harms. Like, it doesn't say that that last uh, the little thing with the fish on it to say hazardous to water and uh, I don't know what it is. But, um, yeah, it doesn't have that on there, but obviously it's just out of courtesy yeah. because the last thing I want is to go to my local and end up polluting it with engine degrease and causing a problem um so i'd rather do it just out of courtesy anyway um so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go and do that now i'm gonna do it a nice deep clean on all the reels and make sure that they're all in good condition ready for my next outing of course um going back to the last video where i lost the camera uh, the underwater camera so i uh, got back in contact with the company and no questions asked they were very helpful and they are sending out a replacement so don't know how long it's going to take to get her of course um delivery was quick for the last one i believe it was only literally a couple of days so um, i'm hoping for the same sort of turnaround a couple of days but we'll obviously see um because it's, it's like a goodwill gesture type thing that they're doing it probably will take a little while but um, I'm hoping hoping to get it in the next couple of days and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get back out um, I'm gonna change the swivels on it straight away because they are what snapped so I'm gonna change them myself um, just for peace of mind um, just because it, obviously they've replaced the camera but the SD card that was in it that can't be replaced because they don't know what SD card was in it uh, so that set me back a few quid but that's not really a problem um, so yeah I've got another SD card waiting ready to go um, and Jeb, yeah, what I'm going to do is we will uh, we'll obviously see you next time on the bank um, where I can test out these reels, test out the camera and um, yeah, go from there. So please do like, comment, subscribe. If you've got any questions about the old Tegras, um, let me know. 
I have had them for two or three years now. Um, really nice reels, and they, uh, to be honest, I, I really don't do stuff in terms of service in them or anything like that. I give them a clean every once in a while just to make sure that they don't get too grotty, and they have been perfect, and they have taken some abuse. Um, so yeah, of course, I don't say, I, I wouldn't say don't service your reels, definitely service your reels, because I've heard a lot of people saying it does help them out, but yeah, they are absolutely perfect in my eyes. Um, so yeah. Yeah, if you've got any comments, uh, leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible. And um, yeah, I will see you guys on the bank. Please do like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends um, and also give me some ideas on what, what you guys want to see in terms of content. Do you want to see more videos like this where I'm trying to do stuff? Obviously the bait and pole video, um, that's one that a lot of people have liked, of course. Um, so if you want something like that, um, some more videos like that, if you want more videos like this, if you want videos on how to make um, power packs, obviously I've got the power pack which, I made, which I've made myself. I'm more than happy to share that with you guys as well. Um, literally, that power pack, if I were to make a power pack video as well, uh, if you guys want that, of course, it will cost you pennies to do. Literally, the most expensive part of it will be getting a battery. Um, I use a car battery, which I bought off of a mate for a fiver, and it is perfect. So if you guys can source a car battery, I can then give you the know-how on how to um, put it all together. Um, so yeah, please do let me know, uh, and uh, tight lines.